A lot of people wonder if a narcissist is such a commitment phobe. They don't like to be tied down. They don't like to feel restricted. They get bored easily, whatever the case may be. Why get married? Why get into a relationship? It boils down to really two main reasons. Number one, they do it because of the narcissistic supply. Now we got to face reality on something here. We know that narcissists wear false masks. And the reason they wear false masks is because a lot of people tend to perceive other people based on society, based on what they think people want. In this case, a narcissist is not going to really be fulfilled if they're upfront and honest about their intentions when it boils down to gaining narcissistic supply. People do appreciate someone being candid, being upfront, being honest about what their intentions are and what it is they're looking for because it gives that other person the option to decide if they want to continue dealing with this person or if what this person is looking for is not the same thing that that person is looking for. A narcissist decides to pretend that they want to be in a relationship and be in a dynamic with someone because they figure that if I tell this person I want to be in a relationship, I want to be in a commitment, this person is going to believe me and they're going to want to pursue me. They're going to want to entertain me. However, if a narcissist says, I'm not looking to really settle down and be serious and I want to bounce around and see whomever I want whenever I want, not that many people will go for that. Not that many people want that type of relationship. And though most people can appreciate the honesty of the intention, they may not entertain that. And a narcissist needs their supply in order to be fueled on it. So of course, they're going to lie to the person. They're going to basically feed the person what they think that person wants to hear, what they think that person wants to ultimately just gain something out of it. Whatever type of supply that is, it can be financial, it can be materialistic, it can be sexual, it can be anything. So what it boils down to is I have to lie to you to get what I want. If I don't lie to you and I'm up front with you, you're not going to deal with me. You're not going to entertain me and I have to continuously look for other supply. And of course, the other reason is they want to appear normal. They want to appear normal to the general public. They want to appear as if they can sustain a relationship. Even though they are abusing their partner, even though they are manipulating their partner behind closed doors, their thing is they have to show the general public, see, I'm normal. I can have a relationship. I can sustain a relationship. I'm not the toxic one. And of course, when the whole spiel goes down as far as the gaslighting and all of the manipulation and the discard, it always boils down to the victim being the one who has the problem, the victim being the one who's toxic, which we all know is BS because clearly it's not the victim. But they want to give that appearance to people. They want to show people that I'm not toxic. I can have a relationship. So if anyone's wondering why a narcissist ever gets involved with someone or ever gets married to someone and they're complete commitment phobes, listen, besides the fact that they are walking contradictions, it's either to gain the narcissistic supply and run it until it can't run anymore and then bounce to the next one or to appear normal to the general public because the reality of it is, is that they can only hold up their facade for so long and they can only hold up the idea that other people are the toxic ones because let's face facts. Would you rather be single because it's by choice or would you rather be single because nobody's putting up with your crap because you are completely toxic? Keep exposing them guys. It's my time.